Hey. Guys, it's great to be back with you. Welcome on Tuesday, and we're back with stick mobility. So this month, we're going to be working, obviously, with the stick as always, but we're going to be using a suspension trainer with our TRX today, with our, I'm sorry, TRX, with our stick mobility today. So any suspension trainer that you have will be completely fine. Uh, we're going to get joint prep, get warmed up, and we're going to do some things with the suspension trainer. We're going to do some things with the stick in the suspension trainer, so we're gonna have a little bit of fun with it, all right? So let's get warmed up and ready to go. So we will need access to, I'm sorry, we will need access to all three sticks. Mostly what we'll be using is the small stick for most or majority of our workout today, and maybe two of the sticks for maybe one exercise after that. So let's grab two sticks first, and we are gonna start off with our skin the cat first into our monkey hang, and then we're gonna take that into a different variation of the monkey hang. Okay. So let's hit our skin and cap first up. Let's bring the shoulders out, drop down, hold. And try to relax your legs a little bit. I try to put most of the pressure I can in my arms. I come back up, I step back with my right leg and hold. Drop, come back up, bring it right back around, drop down. Bring it back up, bring the opposite leg back. Bring it back, skin the cat. We'll do one more time each monkey hang and one more skin the cat. So bring back the leg back one more time. Bring it back to skin the cat. Drop down, hold. This one bring the leg back. Great. Now we're gonna go to one big stick. Put that to the side. We're gonna work our monkey hang again, but we're gonna add a stretch for the IT band as well. So if I'm standing here, it's in my right hand. I'm gonna grab on top as high as I can. I'm gonna step behind with my right leg. So I step behind, right? And I'm on the side of my foot. And now I drop. And I bring the opposite arm out. Bring the arm back in. Bring the arm back out. Bring it back in, bring it back out. Let's do one more. Bring it back in, bring it back out. Pull yourself right back to position. Okay, opposite side. Left arm is on top, which means my left leg is stepping behind. So I step behind, get on the, flat, the side of the foot, drop and hold, hold your position, stretch out that lat, Squeeze the glutes on the right side. I open up and I close. I open up. I close two more times. Open up and close. Last one. Open up. Stand up. Now we're going to go to our hamstrings with the suspension trainer. Still getting warmed up. All right. So if you have a TRX, um, move it to what they would call mid-length. If you have any other variation of a suspension trainer, make sure that the, the handles are at the top possible portion of your knee. Okay, I'm gonna put my stick inside the suspension trainer. Okay, um, offset stance, which means I'm gonna bring my right leg forward, my left leg is back and bent. So I'm on my toes on my left side. I step back from the anchor point a little bit whether it's a doorway or what I have is completely fine, or an X mount, whatever you have. Now, I push my butt out, I push my hands forward, I stretch out that hamstring, I squeeze down on the stick to come back up to get the lats involved. Push the booty out once again. There's my hamstring stretch. Press down on the, the stick to come up, that's two. We'll do five. Push the booty out. Squeeze and come up for three. Try to arch your back, flatten your back out. Bring it back out. Squeeze and come up for four. One more time, bring it out. Squeeze and come up for five. Great job, let's go to the opposite side. Now my left leg is forward, my right leg is back. On my toes on the right side. Pushing down with about 50%, 60% on your stick. Shoulder blades are down, get those lats involved. I push the booty out again. I come up for one. 
Keep tension in your suspension trainer. Make sure it doesn't relax. Keep tension in your suspension trainer. Elbow pitch up. I'm trying to break the stick in half also. Come on down. There's my stretch. Squeeze and come up for two. Bring it back out and down. Squeeze and come up for three. Bring it out and down. Squeeze and come up for four. One more time. Bring it out and down. Squeeze and come up for five. Great job. Okay. We are ready to begin. Okay, let's just do one ninja flow and we're ready to start. Okay, so grab your large stick, have your hand, left hand top inside the left foot. Okay, I'm going to drop down, stretch out the shoulder first, last joint prep exercise. Hand on the bottom, keep it against your rib cage as we fall to the right. Breathe, slowly come back up. Let's take it to the other side and we're ready to roll. Drop down, hand on, keep it against the rib cage, and go. Okay, great, we're up. Okay, we are gonna start with our rows. We're gonna work the rhomboids and our scapula. So, let's move your suspension trainer up to a fully shortened position. If you have rings or anything else, maybe just the bottom of your waistline should be good. Okay. So we're gonna start the small stick first. I'm gonna stand, okay? Actually, let's kneel down. I'm on my knees, I'm gonna take my pelvis, tuck my pelvis forward. I'm gonna take the stick, I'm gonna hold it, shoulder width apart, arms are out. I'm gonna bend the stick in half, elbow pits are up. I'm gonna pull the shoulders together and then protract for one. Pull in, protract for two. Retraction and bend for three. Don't arch your back, tuck your pelvis forward. Retract, press out for four, press the shoulders, retract, protract for five. In, out for six, don't bend the arms. In, out for seven, in, out for eight, two more times. In, out for nine, the last one coming up. In and hold, out, that's 10. Great. Okay, I felt all that in my scapula and my abs because squeezing the glutes. All right, now we're going to take your suspension trainer. We're going to go to full body rows. The closer you are to the anchor point, the harder it is. The further away from the anchor point you are, the easier it is. We're going to do two main rate, all right, um, movements here. My palms will be down. As I start my row, I'm going to retract shoulders. I come up to my midpoint and I take my hands. Palms will be up and then I'll lower myself back down. Find a position that works for you. We're only doing about 10 reps, and then we're going right back to that stick one more time. So, you can use a tabletop, your legs can be straight, whatever you want. My legs are locked out, and I'm holding. Scapular retraction, row. That's one you want to control. Retract, row. That's two. Retract, row. That's three. Try to pause at the top if you can. Retract, row. That's four. Retract, row, that's five. Retract, row, that's six. Retract, row, that's seven. Retract, row, that's eight. Two more times. Retract, row, that's nine. One more time. Retract, row, that's 10. Great job. Grab your stick one more time. Let's kneel down. Arms are out straight. Once again, bend that stick in half. Here we go. Pelvis forward. Retract. Back for one. Retract. Two. Retract. Three. Retract. Four. Retract. Five, make sure you're not coming up. Retract, six, retract, seven. Squeeze those glutes. Retract, eight, two more times. Retract, nine, 
Last one, retract and hold, squeeze, press out for 10. Great job. Need to hydrate, hydrate really quick. We're moving on, okay. Now you're gonna take your suspension trainer and we're gonna move it down to pretty much mid-calf. Okay, which means your handles are at your kneecaps if you have this type of suspension trainer. If you have the rings, the ring, the bottom of the ring will be at mid-calf or mid-shin, okay? I'm gonna start with a small stick, okay? I'm gonna put it to my left side so you see it first. So depending on what you have, you know, on the handles, if you have a suspension trainer like this, it will be in the foot cradles. Now, I'm gonna put one hand on the rubber, one hand the plastic part of the stick, and I'm going to put the hands only shoulder width apart. I'm trying to move the suspension trainer away from the anchor point. Squeeze the glutes nice and tight. I want to keep that pressure. So I'm kind of like pushing with my left and pulling with the right for that to happen. I'm going to step back, keep that tension, and we're going to stand up for one. Okay? Here we go. Step back, keep that tension, stand up, one. Don't let it turn you. Up, oh, that's two. Step back, three. Step back, brace the abs, four. Step back, five. Back, six. Back, seven. Back, eight. Two more times. Back, nine. Last one, back. And 10, staying on the same side. Now I'm gonna widen the feet. I'm trying to move away from the anchor point. Now I'm gonna work on just pivoting my left foot back to center. So I'm gonna pivot the hips a little bit, but this stays where it's at. Can I move, pivot, bring it back for one. Feel those left obliques. Pivot, back for two. Push with the left arm, pull with the right. Pivot. Three, pivot, four, brace those abs, pivot, five, pivot, six, pivot around, seven, pivot, that's eight, two more times, pivot around, that's nine, last one, pivot around, and 10, great job. Let's go to the opposite side. Back in, both foot cradles once again. Okay, arms are out to this, arms are in the same width as before. Trying to move, I'm pushing with the left, or uh, pulling with the left, pushing with the right. Step back with the right leg, here we go. Back, that's one. Keep tension, the TR or your suspension trainer. Back, that's two. Back. That's three, back, four, squeeze, back, five, back, six, keep tension, back, seven, back, eight, brace those abs, back, nine, one more time, back, and ten, arm down for a second. Now we're gonna go to that pivoting using my right foot to pivot towards my left. I'm up, brace, pivot, that's one. Pivot around, two. Pivot for three. Pivot, brace the abs, that's four. Pivot, that's five. Pivot around, that's six. Pivot, brace the abs, at seven, pivot, that's eight, two more times, pivot around, that's nine, one more, pivot around, and ten. Let's drop it down, hydrate if you need it, let's move on. Okay, great, okay, so we are going to have to Move the TRX down, the, the suspension trainer down to um, make a little lower if you need to, but we're gonna go to the side plank first and then we're gonna raise it right back up and you'll see why. 
okay? Actually, to make it easier for you guys, we're actually gonna keep everything the same way. I'll just switch the exercises up. All right, so we're gonna get into your side plank. So I'm gonna face the camera first, which means I'll be on my right elbow. Okay, if you have foot cradles, put your feet in the foot cradles, if you have the rings, try to find a way, a comfortable way to place your feet in. Okay, your feet are in, okay? Now make sure they're even, number two. I'm gonna come up into my side plank. I'm gonna take my stick, push it into the ground, and as I raise the stick up, I drop the hips. I come up, find that active engagement for one. Make sure that your elbow is directly under your shoulder. The stick comes up, I drop down. I come up, active engage for two. Drop, up, engage for three. Drop, up, that's four. Drop, bring it up, that's five. Drop, bring it up and press, that's six. Drop, bring it up, press, that's seven. Drop, bring it up, hold, press, that's eight. Two more times, drop, press it up, that's nine. One more time, drop, bring it up and press, that's 10. Great job. Okay, before we go to the other side, I would like to grab a big stick now. Okay, grab the big stick. My left foot will be in both foot cradles, whatever we have. Okay, so my left foot is going in, okay? We're gonna be in a suspended type lunge position here. Kneel down first to start. We're gonna work on a large extension of the leg. We're going back to our lunges again. But now we're gonna rotate at the bottom to the right. Put the stick behind your back on the shoulder blades. Once we're set and ready to go, give you guys a second to get ready. I'm gonna get my knee off the ground. I'm gonna pivot around and come up for one, okay? Here we go, down. If you need to kneel, kneel down. Pivot, bring it back. That's two. Down. Rotate. That's three. Down. Rotate around. Squeeze both in the back side. That's four. Down. Rotate. That's five. Down. Twist. That's six. Four more. Down. Twist. Seven. Down. Twist. Eight. Two more times. Down. Twist. That's nine. One more time. Down. Squeeze the glutes hard as you can. Around. Bring it back. Slow come up for ten. Take your feet foot out of the foot cradle. We're gonna go to the opposite side. Unfortunately, my back will be towards you for this next one for the plank. All right, let's sit on the ground. Again, grabbing the small stick. Okay. Toes go in. Go up and around. Okay. Then we go back to that plank position. Okay. I'm going to start my hand stick on the ground. Lock out the legs. Press into the ground. I come up, I drop. That's one. Press. Up. That's two. Press the hips up, pull the stick down. Up. That's three. Up. That's four. Up. That's five. Up. Going down, sorry, let me get the stick up. Get the hips up, that's six. Hips up, that's seven. Hips down, stick up. That's eight. Two more times. Press, that's nine. Last one. Up, that's 10. Felt that. Okay. Back to the big stick. Going with our right foot in now. The right foot, you have this into the foot cradles. With the ring, you'll probably just need, obviously just one ring. Okay, what do we have? We're down once again. 
Okay, so my left foot is forward, my right foot is back. I put the stick on my upper back. Okay, squeeze the glutes, bring the leg out, twist around, up for one. Down, twist, that's two. Down, twist, that's three. Down, twist, that's four. Down, twist, five. Balance in the issue, find a focal point. About two feet in front of you on the floor. Twist, that's six. Flip, down, twist, that's seven. Down, twist, that's eight. Two more times. Down, twist, nine. Last one. Down, twist, and 10. Hydrate if you need to. We're moving on, guys. Doing great. Okay. All right, these next two moves, we will need, we're gonna go back to TRX row, and then we're gonna take that into uh, a double stick move on the floor. Okay? So, all right, let's move your suspension trainer back up. Hopefully shortened. Or whatever you have, just move it up for us. I mentioned the hip height. We're gonna do another set of 10 rows first, and you'll see why I paired these two back to back. This one's nice. Okay, so once again, palms will be facing away like last time, and then we're gonna go with palms facing as we get almost on the way up. Okay, remember, find the height that works for you. Okay, here we go. One, and down. Two, down. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, pull, and ten. Great job. Okay. I'm going to go over to my sticks now. They're pushing into the wall. I'm going to lie on my stomach first. Arm going to come on the legs. Yeah, I've done this a few months ago. We're going to do our reverse starfish. We'd like to be together for a reverse fly, really. Okay, arms going back. I'm trying to move the wall. And as I arch my back, sticks should come up. Okay, for this one, we'll keep the legs down. Squeeze the glutes nice and tight. My wrist is slightly below my shoulder. I'm not even. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one. I'm up. Down for one. Slow climb up. Down for two. Move that wall. Up. Down for three. Up. Four. Up. Five. Up. Six. Up. Seven. Up. Eight. Two more times. Up. Nine. One more. Up. And ten. Great job. Okay. Moving on. Grab water if you need it. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to lie on our back. We're going to keep the sticks in the same position first. In the meantime, take your suspension trainer, move it all the way down this time, okay? Two similar moves back to back. Piggyback up one another, trying to move the wall. I'm going to lie on my stomach this time. My hands will be in the same position, my arms will be in the same position. As I come up, I'm going to do a slight crunch into a chest fly and down, or you can bring your legs up into hollow body as you come up. So, I start with legs locked out on the floor. I come up into a hollow body, trying to move the wall. I come down. When I come down, I'm not completely relaxing the body. I want to keep some tension in there. Here we go. Three, two, one. I'm up. 
down for one. Up, down for two. Up, down for three. Up, that's four. Up, that's five. Up, that's six. Up, that's seven. Up, that's eight. Two more times. Up, that's nine. Last one. Up, and 10. Great job. Let's stand up. We're gonna use our suspension trainer once again. Now we're gonna take it into our chest flies here, standing. Okay, so like the row, the further you are on your anchor point, the harder it is. I'm gonna sit right about here. Okay, I'll bring my arms down, start here down. Squeeze loose nice and tight. So if you have a hard time with this move, your shoulder bothers you, bring a foot forward slightly and just add slight amount of weight into there where you're still working your chest. Have a good grip on it, grip is everything, squeeze the glutes nice and tight. Try to be flat foot, try to be on your toes, squeeze the glutes, tuck the pelvis forward. I come down, and up for one. Down, up for two. Down, and three. Down, four. Down, five. Down, Six, down, seven, down, eight, two more, down, nine, last one, down, and ten. Brilliant. Well done. Okay, we are moving on. Okay, two moves back to back once again. We will take our suspension trainer. And we'll put it into mid calf once again. This time we're going to go back to the small stick. So we're going to do a plank position first. And how the plank or the stick is going to help us in the plank, we're going to have our arms just like this. Hands will be in the number 11. And what I want to try to do is I'm doing this, I want to try to bend the stick in half as I'm in my plank, as we're going to work adduction, abduction with our legs. Okay? So, lie down, put your feet into the foot cradles, okay? Feet are in, okay. Put the forearms down, so I bend the stick in half, squeeze the glutes nice and tight, then we come up, raise and hold. I try to bend the stick in half going downward. That pulls my shoulders back, I open, close for one. Open. That's two, close. Open, hold, close for three. Open, close for four. Open, close for five. Open, at six. Open, at seven. Open, that's eight. Two more times, open, that's nine. Last one, open, and 10. Take your feet out, lie on your back. We're gonna move into our hip bridges now. Using the stick as resistance for our bridge. My legs will be bent at 90 degrees. Feet are in. I'm gonna take my stick and place it on my waist. I'm gonna extend my arms out when my wrists are on it. I'm gonna get the lats involved by pushing down on my lower abs. That'll give me some resistance, or your hands, it's fine too some resistance for your hip bridge. Now, as you bridge up, be conscious of the legs not going into extension. Keep that knee flexion, okay? Don't go into here, okay? Keep that knee flexion so that you know that you're engaging the hamstrings the entire time and we're not pressing out, getting those quads too much involved. Okay, here we go. In three, two, one. I'm up, press down. One, just hover, up. Down for two, up, down for three, just hover, up, no resting, down for four, up, down for five, up, 
Down for six. Up. Down for seven. Up. Down for eight. Two more. Up. Down for nine. Last one. Up. Down for ten. Great job. Okay, we're moving on. Okay. All right, great. Okay. We're going to keep it at where we're at. We're going to put the heels on. I apologize. I had to look at the list. Putting the heels back in. Back to abs. Okay. So now I'm here with the stick. Okay. Try to bend the stick in half. I do a slow roll all the way up. Press overhead. Slowly roll back down for one. Okay. Here we go. In three, two, one. Slow climb up. Slowly come down for one. Up. Down for two. Up. Down for three. Up. Down for four. Up. Down for five. Up. Down for six. Up. Down for seven. Up. Down for eight. Two more times. Up. Down for nine. One more time. Up. And that's 10. Great job. Continuing with the small stick, we're going to stand up. We're going to put single leg back into the foot cradles. Anyone you want to start first is fine because we're going to go right back to back with it. So I'll do my right foot first in the foot cradles. I'm going to kneel down. Now, we're going to stay in an isometric lunge so we're not moving. Okay? We're going to work on having your leg extended more so it's elongated lunge. We're going to work with the small stick, bending it in half, simply just raising it overhead and down. That's all we're going to do. All right, here we go. 10 strong reps. Three, two, bend the stick in half. One, off the ground. Up, down for one. Up, down for two. Up, down for three. Up, four. Up. Five, up, six, up, seven, up, eight, two more times, up, nine, last one, up, bring the stick down, now stand with your TR, with your suspension trainer, take the foot out, try my best not to say TRX every single time, it's just not, not happening too well, okay. Let's put our opposite foot in. Okay, so now my left foot is going into the foot cradles. And I'm down once again. Okay. Work on that leg extension. So I have, don't have too much knee flexion. As much as you can help it, okay? All right. Leg is out. A little more. There we go. All right. And begin. That's one. Two, three, up, four, up, five, up, six, up, seven, up, eight, up, nine, the last one. Ten, pull yourself up and stand up. Okay. Moving on. Okay, great. All right, back some back work. Take your suspension trainer. Move it up to fully shortened. We're now going to take the stick, put it onto the handles. Okay, if you have a new variation of the TRX. I would not put it in here with the Velcro straps, it'll come off. 
So if you have the older version, you're okay without the Velcro straps. If not, let's be safe, put it in the handles. And so we're not gonna put too much weight in this position, but what we're going to do, we're gonna to go to a mid row, a high row, try to bend the stick in half as we pull ourselves up to a level position. So you don't want your hands, depending on how long your arms are, have your hands on the rubber. So when I do my mid row, my high row, my wrist is directly in line with my elbow. Okay. I'm in. Okay, and for me, I like usually put my hand on the strap a little bit just so that they I come off, I measure myself out first. Now from here, I walk up a little bit, feel enough in my rear delt, so I come down. Up for one. Down, so with this row again, scapular traction first, then row for two. Retraction, three. Retraction, four. Retraction, five. Retract, six. Retract, seven. Retract, eight. Retract, nine. Last one. Retract, 10. Great job, that one felt good. I think we have one back to back, and we do. All right, now we're gonna take, this one's tough. This will require a lot of mobility on your parts, so do the best you can. So I'm gonna bring my suspension trainer, I got right this time, down to mid, or midpoint, okay? I'm gonna grab stick in between. I'll step out a little bit, because this will be good. Now, I'm going to take this into a deep overhead squat. The goal is to get down as slow as you can, back as straight as you can, with the arms almost directly overhead. That's the hardest part, especially after doing the high row that we just did. Arms are overhead. I walk in. Now the key with this is, I don't want, I don't want slack. I want to keep tension on my suspension trainer. Tuck the pelvis forward, going lower down. Down, 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 up for one. Down, two. Down, three. Down, four. Down, five. Down, six. Down, seven. Down, eight, two more times. Down, nine, last one. Down, and 10. Brilliant job. Okay, stay right there with the TRX. Hold on a second. I did it again, suspension trainer. My goodness, all right, almost done. Take your suspension trainer, move it back up to fully shortened. Keep the stick right where it is, okay? Now, I'm gonna grab the same position, okay? We're gonna do some eye raises now. I love doing it, this, with my suspension trainer and the stick, so I really can work on core screwing the shoulders down. Okay, so I'm not gonna go too far under the anchor point, just enough where I can get some work in. Back in that overhead position, because you know your shoulders are not firing up yet, right? Drop down, up, squeeze, no arch in your back. No momentum. Down for one. Up. Down for two. Slow on the way down. Slow on the way down. Bring the stick in half. Up. That's three. Up. That's four. Up. That's five. Up. Six, up, and seven, up, it's eight. Two more times, guys. Up, it's nine, last one. Up, keep it tight, 
Great job. All right, take your stick out of the suspension trainer. It is time to stretch. Still have a few left, but we'll save a lot of those for next week. Okay. Let's grab one big stick first. Let's go into our slap shot. Stick behind the back. Line those feet up wide. Either in the middle or to the opposite foot. And bring it down and stretch. Breathe and hold. Slowly come back up. Opposite side. Bring it down. Hold. Come back up. Grab both. Sticks. Feet nice and wide. I'm going to lunge to my right. I'm going to bend my right leg as I pull against it. I'm going to stretch out my shoulder on my right side, my lat. Come back up. Opposite side, bend to the left. Push the sticks into the ground. Hinge back. And we are done. <clears throat> Guys, thank you so much for joining on. Any questions or anything before I sign off? Just looking through. Hey, thanks again, guys. And I'm definitely looking forward to seeing you next week. Have a good one. Peace and love as always. See you next week for more suspension training.